everyone, my name's Annette and welcome back to Cotto Verdi. Um, I have got a large bed um, that is a no-dig bed and I planted it, the entire bed, I've planted up with dahlias this year. And I thought since, you know, dahlia purchasing season is upon us almost, I thought it would be a good time to go through my bed and show you the different varieties that I've got. So I'm going to do a series of videos and this video is all about the ball dahlias and then I'll follow it up with other varieties that I've got like um, dinner plate dahlias and collarette dahlias and the decorative dahlias and single dahlias and obviously I haven't got every dahlia variety going that would be impossible well impossible for me because I'm not a dahlia farm but with the ones that I've got I thought it'd be interesting to show you the differences you know how one purple compares to another purple or one white compares to another white and I've always found it quite difficult in the past when I'm looking online to know exactly what it's going to look like compared to another one. So I thought if I did a video about that, it might help some of you choose which dahlias you want to buy in the coming season. So today's video is all about the ball dahlias and uh, let's take a look at those.
So I've just had a little bit of fun here and I have laid all of the dahlias out that I picked and I've sort of put them fa fading from one colour through to another and I've laid them um, facing towards you so that you can see the different colours um, against each other and sort of the different sizes and I just thought that might be fun and then I'm just going to plonk them in a vase and or arrange them in a vase and uh, give that a little twirl so you can see them like that too. So if we start at this end over here we start with Cornell which is a lovely sort of cherry red and move to More Place which is a beautiful uh, deep violet and then Ivanessi, which I think is this gorgeous combination of sort of deep, deep pink and purple. And then we have one called Willow's Violet, which has sort of got a white tinge on the inside of the petals. And then we move to Gertler Twilight, which is this lovely, lovely, soft, lavendery pink. It's so pretty. And then Small World, the ever popular, really simple, very useful, tiny, mini ball dahlia. And then we have Happet Compo here. And Happy Compo is a lovely yellow with the outside of the petals tinged in purple and it's so pretty and I think it's really useful because it goes with so many other flowers in your border. And then we have the really super popular Cornell Bronze which has just got so many different shades of bronze basically and it's just beautiful, really prolific, very tall for me. I, I never have any trouble growing this one so I highly recommend it. And then we've got Rosemary Dawn, which is new to me this year, and I absolutely love this dahlia. It's got this really sort of soft, peachy colour with pink tips on the outside. Jerry Winnie, another super popular dahlia. As you can see, this is one of the larger ones, and I do really love Jerry Winnie. It's not quite as tall as Cornell Bronze, but they certainly look good together in a border. And then we have my favourite. I don't know why I love this one so much, but Burlesca has got this lovely sort of peachy on the inside and then a darker purple on the outside. So when you look at it, it looks predominantly purple, but it goes with so many other colours. So I also want to show you the backs or the undersides of them. So this is Cornell, More Place, Ivanetti, Willow's Violet, Gertler Twilight. Can you see in Willow's Violet it's kind of got white bits on the inside, or whiter bits. And then we have Small World, Happet Compo, Cornell Bronze, Rosemary Dawn, Jerry Winnie, so pretty. And then my favourite, Burlesca. Look how cute that is. So I hope this has been something fun and a little bit different to the normal daily tours that I do. And um, you know, maybe you've found it interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd be very interested. I'm going to produce some other videos um, that cover the other types of dahlias that I have. But um, if you're interested in those, subscribe to my channel and then you'll get notifications when I produce the next videos, which will be over the next few weeks. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. As I said, let me know what you think. And thank you so much for watching I'll see you all next time <laughs> and welcome back <laughs> all the different ball varieties of dahlias that I've got in the why can't I speak English? Saturday and there's still a plane. No idea if that made sense. Did that, did that make sense? I can't remember what I said. Uh, do I start again? Do I start again? Right, let's start again.